back to another unboxing. So, okay, for real this time, this is the last one of the Target Best of boxes this year. Sorry that I psyched you out before on that. I legit did forget about those two others. This is, in fact, the last one. And this is the Give Serious Lip 8-piece lip-loving product set. It's valued over $50, and while there are several things in here that I already own, I think it was worth it for me personally to pay 15 bucks for the ones that I didn't, because I think it was probably still cheaper getting it this way than buying them individually would have been. Especially with the Winky Lux, because they're not a cheap brand, so. Give your lips the love they deserve with this 8-piece lip care set. Scrub, moisturize, and color your way to the perfect pouch. Just saying, valued over 50 bucks, cost 15. Just saying. Just saying. However, this was also the hardest one to get my hands on because it kept selling out. So, fair warning if you're trying to get a hold of this one, you, you may run into some challenges there. So, this is how it's packaged in there, being very careful. And yeah, I saw it coming. I saw it coming. Did I lose another one too? I feel like I lost something here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, I guess not. It's just the way that... Huh. Weirdly, they have dead space. Whatever. So, okay. That's how it's in there. I was gonna say, I'm being real careful this time, unlike the last one where stuff fell out, but clearly that did not help. So this is just funny to me that I literally just bought one of these, almost identical, from Shop Miss A for a dollar. <laughs> oh, it's a lip exfoliator. Almost identical in every way, right down to the design. Only thing different is the color. Mine is mint green, this one's pink. And this one has a Sonia Kashuk uh, logo on it. But yeah, so it's lit. Yeah, I'm looking at it. Same on both sides and everything. It's got like the little nubbies on this side. It's got larger ones on the back, if you can see back there. And then down here, there's like a little hole in this end that apparently is for like blackhead extraction, but I don't think I would trust it for that. I also don't very often get blackheads, so for me, that end's not needed. But on the back, apply a lip scrub and gently massage your lips in a circular motion using the thin bristles to exfoliate your lips. Once done, apply lip oil and massage your lips using the round bristles to stimulate blood circulation. Care, clean with soap and water after every use. Let dry and store in a cool, dry place. See, this one doesn't even mention it being a supposed blackhead extractor on the other end. So, see, that just further proves my point that I don't trust that end of it. So, I just... I just use this end. But yeah, I don't mind having a second one of these around, so more the merrier, but I bet it costs more than a dollar. <laughs> just cracks me up I literally just freaking bought one of those. Just bought one, but at least I'm only down a buck, so I don't care. And then we have, oh, these are stuck together. You're married. Ah, I'll make you divorce. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> so this is from Elf, and it's their Brown Sugar Lip Exfoliator. I did have one of these before. I'm not sure if I ever reviewed it, but I I'm happy to have a newer one on hand. Just saying. Gently exfoliates to create the appearance of smoother looking lips, treats and smooths lips for a conditioned and revitalized feel. Obviously, it is a lip scrub. That is the nature of what they do. They do one thing. <laughs> Directions apply to clean damp lips and massage in a circular motion to exfoliate. Use a moistened cotton pad with water and gently wipe away. Scrub, follow with a lip balm or floss to condition. Anyway, there's that. <laughs> oh no, it got the it got the glue booger on it. No, it's stuck to me. No, no, I'm in a weird mood today. <laughs> I have to go to the doctor in like an hour, and I'm in this weird mood. Oh, that's gonna. That's gonna go well, clearly, but, uh, <laughs> I get back blood results today. Joy. I don't know why they couldn't just do a virtual visit for that, but I digress. So, I'm already read in my patient portal. I'm fine, so no need to be concerned, guys. Literally only one thing flagged as abnormal, and it was only, like, low by two points for a thing. So, I don't even know what that means. It was, like, low on carbon dioxide by two points. So I was like, shouldn't that be a good thing, not a bad thing? But whatever. I'll, I'll ask her what exactly that means when I get there. So anyway, so this is by Pacifica. I almost didn't see the logo because it kind of blended in. Unfortunately, it's the Bali Coconut. Yeah, I'll have to see how I 
do with it. So I'm looking at the ingredients list right now. And while I'm not seeing anything initially that says coconut other than the coconut oil, I'll give it a shot. I'll see how I do with it. If I'm cool with it, then cool I can use it. If not, I'll give it to my mom because she doesn't give a shit if I use it once and then give it to her. So I wipe it off. She takes it. Everybody wins. But anyway, so that's that one. Now, this is a brand I had never heard of. This is called Jason Wu, and it's Hot Fluff, which is kind of a weird name for a lip product. Um, and it is in... Where is it at? I saw it somewhere. Apple pie. So that's kind of cool. It's a new age matte weightless lippy that can be worn as eyeshadow, blush, and lip color. I don't personally trust that to be used all over your face and your mouth. That just, I don't know, it sounds like you're asking for an infection, but I mean, more power to you if you want to do looks like that. But yeah, so, but Apple pie sounds good to me, so I, I'm excited about that one, because that one is 100% new to me, because I didn't even know of that brand. So this I have owned before, and admittedly it never made it as far as out of the cling wrap that time, and at this point it's been so many years, it should probably be tossed, because I think it's like a decade old now. But now I have a new one, it's the Vaseline Lip Therapy Rosy Lips, uh, in the itty bitty little tub. Now, I will tell you why it didn't make it out of its packaging before. I bought that one and the original one and the creme brulee one and whatever the hell the other one was. And my genius ass self started with the creme brulee one thinking that sounded really good because I like creme brulee. Like, the real food does not translate into the Vaseline lip stuff. Oh my god, it was so gross. It literally made me want to vom. So I never even reviewed it, I don't think. I just, like... It went straight in the trash, and I never touched any of the others. So they are all still sealed, but they're all also, like, a decade old. So they all need to go out. But now I have this one, so at least I have one in my arsenal. So that's cool. I'll try and at least do this one. I have stick formats of some of the other flavors now, so I mean, they'll at least get some representation in reviews that way, but, I mean, it's still one you have to stick your finger into, and we all know how I feel about that. So, but then again, I do have a couple of lip spatulas now that came with lip masks, so I kind of have no excuses left at this point. <laughs> Just saying. So, we'll see. Maybe I'll actually use it. Then we have one that has been in my collection many times over, and I don't mind having another one of it. It's just like the plain Burt's Bees lip balm. Just the plain mint one. Nothing to say, really. I've reviewed it before. I like this one. What do you want from me? I, I'm happy with it. I'm happy to have it, so. Similarly, this is the NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee. Speaking of! <laughs> perfect timing, universe. The color is Creme Brulee. The scent is not, but... I do like this one, but I already have it, so I'm probably also gonna give this one to my mom. I'm not even gonna open this one. I'm gonna just give it to her brand new, so she can try it out, see if it's a color for her. But yeah, so. <laughs> like I said, I've definitely already got this one, though. And then finally, the last one in here, and the one that I'm the most surprised by that was included, but also the most excited that was included, because I know this brand is not cheap, it's the Winky Lux one, and look at this! has freaking gold flakes in there, like gold schlager. Like, dude. Dude. And this one is a lip oil, and it's called In the Stars, which I think is freaking adorable. And the closer I'm looking at those gold flakes, oh my god, they're star shapes. Can you see them? Can you see those? Holy crap. That is so precious. I don't even know where to start. Oh my gosh, that just made me love it that much harder, and I haven't even tried it yet. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. They're little stars. Which again, Ringo, so you know how I feel about stars, but, ah, oh, goodness. I love it. That may be the thing I'm the most excited about of everything in this, just straight up. So, I'll have to make a note to myself that that's the name on it, because it's written nowhere on the product, so. 
Anyways, that's everything that's in this kit. I think it's a very, very, very good value for your money. Um, even if you have some dupes in there, the stuff that you don't have dupes of, I think absolutely makes it worth the purchase. Plus, who doesn't mind having some backups on some of the old classics, you know? You know, so anyways. That's it for this one, guys. So as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social account media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more. It's all down below. If you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link as always is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time, see ya.